Hello students, in this video I am going to cover test series 10 of vision and it is mainly on polity. So let's start. The first question is who among the following dignitaries takes the oath or affirmation to devote himself or herself to the service and well-being of the people of India. So here it is only the president who takes that vote okay, for the service and well-being of the people of India. It is only the oath taken by the president. Okay, So only first statement is correct. Whereas vice president swears to bear faith and elegance to the constitution. And prime minister uh, takes vote like he swears to bear faith and allegation to constitution and uphold sovereignty and integrity. Okay, so same for the CAG also. So only first statement is correct. Option A. Second one, as per the constitution of India, the governor of which of the following states have special responsibilities with respect to the law and order. So they gave Nagaland, Assam, Manipur and Arunachal Pradesh. So here, only in the cases of Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh, the governor has the special responsibilities in law and order. Okay, Only for Nagaland and Arunachal Pradesh. That is 1 and 4. Next question is, which of, with reference to the 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act of 1992, consider the following statements. The first statement is, the Act bars the interference by court in the electoral matters of Panchayat. First statement is correct. Next is, here, 73rd Constitutional Amendment Act deals with the Panchayat. 74th Constitutional Amendment Act deals with municipalities. Okay. So, the next uh, statement is, the provision of the act do not apply to the union territories. So, here this provision also will apply for union territories. Okay. So, only first statement is correct. So, option A. Fourth question, in the context of Indian polity, which of the following is not a federal characteristic feature? Now, the federal characteristic features are division of power, independent judiciary, written constitution, bicameralism, supremacy of constitution and rigid constitution. All these are the federal features. Okay. So look into the first one, the independence of judiciary. It is a federal uh, uh, federal feature. Next is constitution, bicameral legislature of constitution. So this is also a federal feature. Next is division of power between center and states. This is also a federal feature next is fundamental rights enforced by court of law this is not a federal feature okay so only option d is the answer fifth question with re respect to the growing trend of appointments of deputy chief minister in the state consider the following statements first statement is it is not a constitutional post second one is he does not enjoy any extra financial powers in comparison with the Chief Minister, both these statements are correct and the Deputy Chairman, Chief Minister is same like the Cabinet Minister. Okay, so both these statements are correct. Option C. Sixth question with reference to the Council of Ministers, consider the following statements. The first statement is 44th Constitutional Amendment Act 1978 provided that President is constitutionally obliged to act according to the advice of the Council of Ministers headed by Prime Minister. So, it is not 44th Constitutional, it is 42nd. Through this 42nd Constitutional Amendment Act, 74 Clause 1 article was introduced and according to the article, the President should take decisions based on the advice of the Council of Ministers headed by Prime Minister. The next question a statement is, the Constitution of India requires every order of the President for a public to act, a public act to be countersigned by the minister. So, counter signature by a minister is not required, okay, in the case of president. So, only first, uh, both these statements are wrong. So, option D. Seventh question, which of the following is or are necessary, necessarily the consequences of the proclamation of president rule in the state? So here, first so here 
first statement is president can make laws relating to the state so here only parliament or any other authority can make laws relating to the state as specified by the president but he cannot make laws directly okay so first statement is wrong next is assembly to the state is automatically dissolved so this one is also wrong because the president either suspends or dissolves the state legislative assembly it is not automatically dissolved so second is also wrong the third one is president dismisses the sent uh, state council of ministers so only third statement is correct so option c so the president dismisses the state council of ministers headed by chief minister under the proclamation of president's rule in a state eighth question the provision of the provision that the total number of ministers including prime minister in the council of ministers shall not exceed 15% of the total strength of lok sabha is mentioned in which of the following so it is this provision like the council of ministers should not exceed 15% of total lok sabha strength is added in the constitution through 91st constitutional amendment act of 2003 so it is mentioned in the constitution so option b ninth question with reference to the proclamation of national emergency under article 352 consider the following statements the first statement is the national emergency has been declared only three times in india yes first statement is correct the national emergency is declared in 1962 1971 and 1975 first statement is correct the second statement is national emergency can be declared only on the grounds of war or external aggression so second statement is wrong because Uh, they amended this provision also the national emergency can be declared on the grounds of war external aggression or armed rebellion so these three are included under 42nd constitutional amendment act so 44th constitutional amendment act so this one is also wrong next is third statement is the president can proclaim a national emergency only after receiving a written recommendation from prime minister it is not from prime minister it is from the cabinet ministers so third statement is also wrong so only first statement is correct the national emergency has been declared three times in india tenth question is under the provisions of panchayats extension to scheduled areas act that is pisa act of 1996 which of the following provisions were extended to the panchayats in the scheduled areas so the first statement is the gram sabhas shall be consulted before making the acquisition of land for development projects so first statement is correct next is uh, the recommendations of the gram sabha shall be mandatory for the grant of mining leases for minor minerals this is also correct next is planning and management of minor water bodies in scheduled areas shall be entrusted to panchayats this is also correct next is gram sabha is endowed with the ownership of minor forest produce so all these statements are correct so option d is the correct answer next is 11th question consider the the central council of lok lo, local government was constituted by so it was constituted by an order of the president of india as per the provision under article 263 of indian constitution okay so as per the order of president under article 263 the central council of local government is constituted so option a 12th question which of the following cases the rajya sabha has equal powers and status as that of the lok sabha so first statement is election and impeachment of the president yes so here i will tell all the powers where lok sabha and rajya sabha both have equal powers okay first is introduction for the introduction and passage of ordinary bills both have equal powers for introduction and passage of financial bills involving expenditure from consolidated fund of india and for elections and election and removal of vice president in making recommendations of removal for cji judges of supreme court high court 
chief election commissioner cag all both have lok sabha and rajya sabha have equal powers and for the approval of proclamation of all the three types of emergencies by the president both lok sabha and rajya sabha have equal powers for the enlargement of jurisdiction of supreme court and upsc and for consideration of reports of constitutional bodies like finance commission upsc cag etc both of them have equal powers and for election and impeachment of president for the approval or of ordinances issued by the president and for the introduction and passage of the constitutional amendment bills for all these three also both have equal powers okay so the option c is the right answer for one two and four statements are correct 13th question consider the following statements regarding the appointment and conditions of services of advocate general of the state so advocate general of the state is the highest law officer of the state okay so let's start the first statement is an individual who has been an advocate of high court for 10 years is eligible and can be appointed as advocate general first statement is correct next is the person holding a judicial office in territory of india for 5 years is eligible and can be appointed as advocate general so here it is not for 5 years the person should hold judicial office for 10 years then only he will be eligible for appointment of advocate general second is wrong next is the remuneration of the advocate general is deti- determined by the governor not state legislature so two and three are wrong only first one is correct option a 14th question with reference to the legislative procedure in state legislature in india consider the following statements the first statement is the legislative council can detain or delay the ordinary bill for maximum period of 3 months so this is wrong it is not for 3 months it is for the 4 months okay the legislative council can detain or delay the ordinary bill for a maximum period of 4 months okay so originally in uh, first the th- uh, three months uh, they will give maximum period to detain or delay original bill for first 3 months in the first instance and next is 4 months in the second instance so it the maximum period will be 4 months next is the constitution does not provide the mechanism of joint setting of both houses to resolve disagreement between the two states okay this constitution does not provide for joint meeting okay so second is correct next is an ordinary bill that originated in the council is sent to legislative assembly becomes dead if rejected by the latter so option b is also correct next is option b 2 and 3 are correct next 15th question it is granted when funds to meet the proposed expenditure on the new service can be made available for re- by reappropriation demand for the grant of a token sum of 1 rupee is submitted to the vote of lok sabha and if assented funds are made available reappropriation involves the transfer of funds from one head to another it does not involve any additional expenditure so which of the following types of grants has been described in the passage given above so it is the token grant the above uh, passage is related to the token grant okay vote of credit here is the grant for some unexpected demand okay uh, next is exceptional grant is made when it is granted for the special purpose next is supplementary grant so when the amount granted for the first time uh, was not sufficient then again it is granted then it is called supplementary grant okay next is 16th question consider the following statements regarding the joint sitting of two houses we know constitution does not provide any legal uh, constitution does not have joint sitting okay does not contain next is uh, so the first statement is a, a quorum to constitute a joint sitting is 1/10th of the total number of members of the two houses first statement is correct next is the bill in the dispute shall be passed by the majority of the mem- total number of members 
of both the houses present and voting in the joint sitting second is also correct the third statement is the provisions regarding the joint setting of the two houses was invoked by for the first time for dowry prohibition bill 1960 so third statement is also correct so all these statements are correct option d 17th question which of the following is or are part of charged expenditure on the consolidated fund of india first statement is emoluments and allowances of the president and other expenditures relating to his office first statement is correct next is salaries allowances and pensions of the judges of supreme court and high court so here the salaries allowances pensions of judges of supreme court and high court are charged on the consolidated fund of the state not by consolidated fund of india so second is wrong next is the administrative expenses of the uh, office of the comptroller and auditor general and union public service commission is also charged by consolidated fund of india so one and three statements are correct option d 18th question consider the following items they gave fire services road and bridges urban forestry management of railway stations so which of the items given above has been provided under the 12th schedule of indian constitution so 12th schedule means municipalities are present in 12th schedule in 11th schedule we have panchayats okay so all these fire services roads and bridges urban forestry all these three are related to panchayat sorry municipalities but not the management of railway stations it is managed by the central government so 1 2 and 3 are only the correct answers option a 19th question which of the following countries are members of nato that is north atlantic treaty organization so north atlantic treaty organization consists of 30 members and in those 30 members any other 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 country will come and attack any of them any of the nato countries then all these 30 member countries will uh, come together and fight against that country okay so it is set up in 1949 okay so nato consists of 30 members so it also consists of greece turkey and france austria is not included in the nato country so only one three four statements are correct so option b 20th question which of the following statements is correct regarding the proclamation of national emergency so national emergency is implement is uh, implemented three times in india okay so first statement is the proclamation must be approved by the both the houses with the within two months from the date of its issue so the first statement is wrong because it should be approved within one month okay so option a is wrong next is emergency can be extended for an indefinite period with the approval of parliament every six months so this statement is correct next is resolution approving the proclamation of emergency must be passed by the simple majority so here resolution approving the emergency must be passed with the special majority not simple majority okay so it can be passed either by either house of the parliament next is revocation of national emergency requires parliamentary approval no revocation of national emergency does not require any parliamentary approval so only option b is the right answer 21st question with reference to the state executive consider the following statements regarding the council of ministers so first statement is the council of ministers cannot tender advice to the governor after their dismissal so it is wrong the council of ministers can advise the governor even after their dismissal okay so this ministry will continue in the office until the successor assumes charge okay so first statement is wrong next is the nature of the advice tendered by the council of ministers to the governor cannot be inquired in the court of law so only second statement is correct option b 22nd question consider the following statements with reference to the public bills and private bills so first statement is it introduced the introduction of 
public bills in house requires 7 days notice whereas private bill introduction in the house requires 1 month notice. First statement is correct. Next is the public bill is drafted by the concerned department in consultation with the law department unlike the private bill that is drafted by the concerned member. So both these statements are correct. So they asked which of the statement is not correct. So option D both are correct. 23rd question under the constitution of India the president has the power to remove which of the following dignitaries. So first statement is attorney general of India. Attorney general is article described in article 76. So attorney general holds the office during the pleasure of president. So first statement is correct. Next is governor of the state. So article 157 under this article 157. Governor also holds office during the pleasure of president. Even second is also correct. Third one is Speaker of Lok Sabha. Speaker of Lok Sabha is in constitution in the 94th article. So, Speaker of Lok Sabha can be removed by resolution passed by majority of all members in the Lok Sabha. Okay. He, the president cannot remove the Speaker of Lok Sabha. Third is wrong. Next is the chairman of the UPSC. So under article 317, the president can remove the chairman or any other members of the UPSC. So fourth statement is also correct. So option C that is 1, 2 and 4 are the correct answers. Next is 24th question. In the context of the Indian constitution, consider the following statements regarding the mutual delegation of functions between center and states. So the first statement is the center can delegate its legislative power to the state only with the previous consent of the state government. So first statement is wrong because the center cannot delegate its legislative power to the state. Okay. So next is president can entrust the executive functions of the center to the states without consent of that state no second is also wrong president cannot contest it is the parliament that can entrust the executive functions of the state center to state without the consent of that state next is uh, the governor of the state may entrust to central government any of the executive functions of the state so only third statement is correct so option d 25th question consider the following statements regarding the panel of chairpersons of Lok Sabha. So first statement is they are elected by Lok Sabha itself from among its members. No, uh, first statement is wrong because the speaker nominates the panel uh, of not more than 10 members. Okay, they are not elected. They are nominated by the speaker and those panel of chairpersons are not more than 10 members. First statement is wrong. Next is any of them can preside over the house. No, it any, any of them cannot preside over the house when the office of the speaker or deputy speaker is vacant. Okay, only a member appointed by the president will preside over the house. So neither one nor two statements are correct. So option D. 26th question with reference to the pardoning power of the joint uh, sorry of the president consider the following statements so the first statement is the president of india is the only authority empowered to remit the death sentence not only president even the prime minister uh, sorry even the governor also has a pardoning power under article 161 okay first statement is wrong and the pardoning power of president lies in the article 72 and pardoning power of governor lies in the article 161 okay next statement is the petitioner seeking pardon has no right to an oral hearing by the president For second statement is correct next is the power of the president to grant a pardon is subjected to judicial review so both these statements are correct so option d 27 the question with reference to the special provisions for the administration of national capital territory of delhi consider the following so national capital territory of delhi is formed under the 69th constitutional amendment act of 1991 okay First, first statement is the chief minister of NCT of Delhi holds office during the pleasure of president. First statement is right. 
Next is the term government in the context of NCT of Delhi refers to the Lieutenant Governor of the NCT. This statement is also correct. So both these statements are correct. Option C. 28th question consider the following statements regarding the qualification for membership of president. First statement is a con candidate contesting an election to the Rajya Sabha from a particular state should be an elector in that particular state. So first statement is wrong because he may not be the elector of that particular state. Even a person who has uh, who doesn't have any election who doesn't belong to that particular place can also go and contest in, contest in that area. Okay, so first statement is wrong. Next is a member of scheduled tribes can contest a seat in the Lok Sabha not reserved for them. So uh, uh, second statement only is correct. So option B. 29th question, which of the following commissions or committees recommend that the convention of governors acting as chancellors of universities and holding other statutory positions should be done away with the with and his role should be confined to so it is recommended by the punchi commission so punchi commission recommended that the convention of governors acting as chancellors of universities and holding other statutory positions should be done away with his role and be confined to the constitutional provisions only was recommended by punchi commission 30th question which of the following provisions of the constitution reveal the asymmetric federal character of the Indian state. So the first statement is imposition of president rule. Next is allocation. So for imposition of president rule, uh, as it, it is, uh, it doesn't re reveal the asymmetry of federal character. Okay, first statement is wrong. Next is allocation of seats in the council of states. So second is correct one and the third one is creation of autonomic districts and fourth one is appointment of state government only allo allocation of seats in Lok Sabha in the council of states and creation of autonomous districts reveal the asymmetric federal character is character of Indian state. So only option B is correct. 31st question consider the following statements with reference to the estimates committee of the parliament. So estimates committee is the largest committee and this committee doesn't have the assistance of CAG. Okay, so let's start with the first statement. It cannot suggest alternative policies in order to bring out efficiency in administration as there is no representation of ministers in the committee. So first statement is wrong because the estimates committee suggest alternative policies. Okay, next statement is it lacks the expert assistance of CAG which is available to the public accounts committee yes for public accounts committee the expert assistant like comptroller and auditor general is uh, is given but for the estimates committee which is the largest committee doesn't have the assistance of cag okay so second statement is correct next is the chairman of the committee is appointed by the speaker from among its members and he is invariably from the ruling party so even this statement is correct so two and three statements are correct so option a is the right answer 32nd question which of the following statements is or are correct regarding the chairman of legislative council of state so here the first statement is uh, his powers and functions are similar to those of the speaker in the legislative assembly. So no the chairman of legislative council is different and the um, powers of speaker in legislative assembly is different. They are not similar and the speaker has special powers uh, like he can decide whether a bill is a money bill or not. Okay. So, whereas the chairman of legislative council doesn't have. So, both are different. Next is, next statement is, he is elected by the council itself from among its members. So, second statement is correct. The third statement is, he nominates a panel of vice chairpersons and a deputy chairman. No, deputy chairman is elected by the council. The... Uh, the chairman of legislative council doesn't nominate him okay he only the chairman of legislative council nominates a panel of vice chairmen 
among the members okay and deputy chairman is elected by the council okay so two and one one and three statements are wrong only second statement is correct so option b 33rd question in the context of security system provided by UIDI for Aadhaar, consider the following statements. So, the first statement is virtual ID is a temporary ID, a 12 digit number mapped with Aadhaar number. So, first statement is wrong because the VID is a temporary 16 digit random number, okay, not 12 digit. Next is virtual VID can be used in lieu of Aadhaar number whereas whenever EKYC services are performed. So second statement only is correct option B. 34th question with reference to the state legislature consider the following statements. First statement is unless a member takes the oath he cannot vote but can participate in the proceedings of the house. So first statement is wrong because unless he take both he cannot vote and also cannot participate in the proceedings of the house first statement is wrong next is the salaries and allowances of the members of state legislature are determined by the parliament by law no it is the salaries and allowances of state legislature are determined by the state legislature only not by the parliament the third statement is the constitution provided for the re reservation of seats for scheduled caste in the assembly of each state on the basis of population ratio. So third statement only is the correct answer. So option A. 35th question which of the following statements is not correct regarding the legislative council in the states. The first statement is the size of the council depends on the size of assembly of the concerned state. So first statement is correct. They asked which of the following are not correct. Okay. So the second one is the vacant seats are filled by the fresh elections and nominations at the beginning of every second year. No. In the legislative council, the vacant elections are conducted at the end of every two years, not beginning. Okay. Option B is the answer that we want. It is not correct. So next is only 5 by 6 of the total number of legislative councils are indirectly elected. And uh, the members of the legislative assembly of the co concerned state can elect only one third of the members of legislative council the next one is 36th question with reference to the vice president of india consider the following statements so the first statement is the const constitution has not prescribed a minimum age as the qualification for office of vice president so the constitution has prescribed so the vice president should have completed 35 years of age okay the constitution has prescribed the age and qualification for age as qualification for vice president okay second one is the vice president can be removed only on the grounds of violation of the constitution so this one is not specified in the constitution okay the grounds of the removal of vice president is not specified uh, it is uh, the constitution has not specified specific ground for the removal of vice president okay so both these statements are not correct so option c 37th question in which of the following cases of double membership a member of parliament will lose both seats so first statement is if a sitting member of the state legislature gets elected as a member of parliament and fails to resign his seat in state legislature within 14 days so in this case he will not lose both the seats next is if a people if a person is elected by both the houses of parliament and fails to uh, intimate within 10 days in which house he desires he serves second in this case also he will not lose the both seats next is if a person is elected in two seats in a house and fails to exercise his option for one so in this case the member will lose both the membership so option c is the right answer and if the sitting house of one uh, if the sitting member of one house is elected to the other house then also he will not lose the membership at a time so only option c is the right answer 
ट्वेंटी एयत थर्टी एयत क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स विथ रिफरेंस टू द पैसेज ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी बिल इन पार्लियामेंट सो बोथ लोकसभा एंड राज्यसभा कैन इनिशिएट द पैसेज ऑफ ऑर्डिनरी बिल ओके कमिंग टू द स्टेटमेंट द फर्स्ट बिल द फर्स्ट रीडिंग ऑफ द बिल इन वर्ल्स इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द बिल आफ्टर द only after its public gazette publication in the gazette so here when ordinary bill is introduced so first reading is done and uh, publication of the gazette is done on the same day itself okay so first statement is wrong next is on the same time itself okay so next is the second reading involves the state of general discussion second statement is right next is the third reading is confined to acceptance or rejectance of the bill as the whole with the amendment so in the third reading only the bill is not accepted after the third reading then the bill is sent to the next house and if there also the bill is passed then the bill is said to be accepted okay or else again some other procedures are related so only second statement is correct so option b 39th question in the context of environmental science the term nurdles is often seen in the news it refers to nurdles means the plastic raw material so option a 48th question which of the following statements is not correct with respect to the whale shark first statement is it is the largest among fish species first statement is correct next is it is currently listed as a critically endangered species on iucn red list of threatened species so second is wrong because whale shark is listed under the endangered species not critically endangered it is listed as endangered species on iucn red list of threatened species next is it is found in all tropical waters of the world and it is it is a filter feeder only option b is wrong so option uh, so option b next is for the first question consider the following statements with reference to the list 3 that is concurrent list of the seventh schedule of the constitution first statement is at present this list has more than 100 subjects so concurrent list has only 52 subjects first statement is wrong next here union list has 98 subjects state list has 59 and concurrent list have 52 subjects okay so first statement is wrong next is both parliament and pres- uh, state legislature can make laws with respect to any subjects enumerated in the list so second is correct next is in case of conflict between laws made by the center and states the central laws prevails over the state laws so second and third statements are correct so option c 42nd question which of the following union territories have popular political institutions headed by the chief minister so in jammu jammu and kashmir national capital territory of delhi and in puducherry in both these political institutions chief minister is headed okay will have the popular political institution which is headed by the chief minister so it is option 1 3 and 4 so option a 43rd question which one of the following is not a function of the cabinet secretariat so first statement is monitoring implementation of decisions taken by cabinet and its committees so it is a function of cabinet secretary secretariat next is management of major crisis situations in the country it is also a function next is creating new standing committee of the cabinet so it is not a function here the standing committees are created by prime minister not the cabinet secretariat so option c is the right one okay next is providing assistance in decision making in the government by ensuring interministerial coordination so this is also a function of cabinet secretary so only option c is the right one 44th question consider the following statements nagaland tripura jharkhand mizoram are given the 6th schedule of the constitution of india provides special provisions for how many of the states given above so here under the 6th schedule 6th schedule you have to remember with this Uh, code called AMTM. A means Assam, M means Meghalaya, T means Tripura, and other M is Mizoram. AMTM. Okay. So in AMTM, Jharkhand and Nagaland is not present. So only one, uh, two, and four are correct. So only two pairs, two states, two states are correct. 
ऑप्शन बी फोर्टी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग रेवेन्यू ऑफ द अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज सो फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज द डिवल्यूशन ऑफ फंड्स ऑफ अर्बन लोकल बॉडीज फ्रॉम द स्टेट लिस्ट इज मेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द रिकमेंडेशन ऑफ स्टेट फाइनेंस कमीशन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट ओके द डिवल्यूशन ऑफ अर्बन लोकल बॉडी फंड इज बेस्ड ऑन द रिकमेंडेशन on state finance commission next is urban local bodies can raise loans from the financial institutions only with the prior approval of the central it is not central it is prior approval of the state government okay the urban local bodies can raise loans from financial institutions only with the prior approval of the central government so only first statement is correct option a 46th question which of the following statements is correct regarding the office of the speaker and deputy speaker first statement is frederick white is the first elected speaker of central legislative assembly first statement is wrong the first elected speaker of central assembly central legislative assembly is vallabhbhai j patel okay so first statement is wrong next is the institutions of the speaker and deputy speaker originated under the provision of government of india act 1935 so here the institution of speaker and deputy speaker originated under the provisions of government of india act 1919 so first statement option b is wrong next is vallabhbhai j patel was the first appointed deputy speaker so the first appointed deputy speaker of central legislative assembly is sachindranath sinha not vallabhbhai j patel okay next is anant sayanam aryangar was the first deputy speaker of lok sabha so option d only is correct 47th question with reference to the administration of scheduled areas consider the following statements first statement is the power to amend the constitutional provisions for the administration of scheduled area in any state is vested with the president parliament first statement is correct next is the legislature of the state having a scheduled area can only increase but not decrease the size of scheduled area so this statement is wrong because the scheduled area can be increased or decreased only by the president okay not by the state legislature so first second statement is wrong next is the governor of the state with scheduled areas has powers to modify the provisions of an act of parliament in relation to the to such area so one and three statements are only correct so option c 48th question consider the following statements the indian constitution provides the financial that the financial bill must be enacted within 75 days of its introduction first statement is wrong because it is not indian constitution it is as per the provisions of collection of taxes act of 1931 finance bill must be enacted within 35 days of the introduction first statement is wrong next is unlike the appropriation bill the amendment seeking to reject or reduce a tax can be moved in the case of finance bill so only second statement is correct so option b 49th question which of the following departmental standing committees jurisdiction comes under lok sabha the first statement is committee on food consumer affairs and public distribution committee on labor and uh, committee on railways this committee on home affairs comes under the jurisdiction of rajya sabha okay so only 1 2 3 are correct option c next is 50th question who is the chairman of the national water council resource council it is prime minister option a 51st question consider the following statements the payments from the public account of india can be made without the parliamentary approval no it can be made only with the parliamentary approval the payments from the public account of india can only be made with the parliamentary approval next is contingency fund of india is held by the finance ministry on behalf of president so it is not by the finance ministry it is by the finance secretary okay so second is also wrong next is the public account of india is operated by executive action only third statement is correct option c 52nd question consider the following statements about the speaker of lok sabha first statement is he is the final interpreter of the provisions of constitution of india within the house first statement is correct 
next is he resigns by writing the letter to the president it is not the speaker of lok sabha resigns by writing a letter to the deputy speaker not president okay next is he can be removed by a resolution passed by the majority of all the members of the lok sabha not parliament okay second and third are wrong only first statement is correct so option b 53rd question which of the following countries does not open its does not open into the red sea so only ethiopia doesn't open into the red sea whereas eritrea sudan djibouti are open into the red sea option a 54th question with reference to the periodic labor force survey consider the following statements first statement is it is released by national statistical office it is correct next is it estimates the unemployment rate in the current weekly status in the interval of 3 months for both urban and rural no it is only for urban areas okay not for both okay only for urban areas the it estimates the unemployment rate in the currently weekly status in the interval of 3 months so only first is correct option a 57 55th question under which of the following circumstances does the constitution empower the parliament to make laws on any matter enumerated in the state list so first statement is when no confidence motion was passed and the state executive has resigned so first statement is wrong next is when the rajya sabha passes a resolution empowering the parliament to make laws in the matters of state list so only second one is correct only in this case the parliament can make laws enumerated in the state list okay and the third one is when the legislature of the state passes a resolution requesting parliament to enact so when a legislature of state of one or of two or more states passes the resolution requesting the parliament to enact laws on matters of state list then only the parliament will enact okay no uh, if only if single state will request then it is not accepted if two or more uh, states are requested then the parliament will make the laws in any matter enumerated in the state list okay so only second statement is correct option a 56th question which of the following statements can be regarded as the discretionary powers of the governor first statement is to determine the amount of royalty from mineral exploration to be paid to tribal district councils by the state government next is recommendations for the president rule in the state and next is while exercising his functions as the administrator of an adjoining union territory in all these cases he, the governor will have the discretionary powers so option d is the correct answer 57th question consider the following statements first statement is a subsidy on fertilizers covered under nutrient based subsidy scheme is paid directly to the farmers so it is not paid directly to the farmers first is wrong next is the maximum retail price mrp on urea of urea and p and k fertilizers are statutorily fixed by the union government it is not fixed by the union government so next one is the fertilizer order 1985 is administered by the department of fertilizer so all these statements are cor not correct option d 58th question consider the following statements regarding municipalities in india first statement is like corporations they are established by the acts of the concerned state legislature first statement is correct next is the council of legislative wing of the municipality is headed by the president or chairman so even that is also correct next is the chairman or the president is responsible for the day to day general administration of the municipalities so here the president or chair it is not president or chairman it is the ceo or the chief municipal officer is the responsible for the day to day general administration of the municipality so only one and two statements are correct option d 59th question consider the following statements with reference to the national land monetization corporation first statement is it is wholly wholly owned by the india government next is it will undertake the monetization of surplus land of the central public sector enterprises and other government agencies second second is also correct next is department of public enterprises ministry of en finance will act as its administrative ministry so 1 2 3 all these statements are correct so option d is the right one 
सिक्सटी एथ क्वेश्चन सब फॉरम ऑन हेल्थ एंड सब फॉरम ऑन स्पोर्ट्स एंड यूथ डेवलपमेंट बिलोंग्स टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पार्लियामेंट्री फॉरम सो फर्स्ट इट इज इट बिलोंग्स टू द पार्लियामेंट्री फॉरम ऑफ यूथ ओके सो ऑप्शन बी सिक्सटी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द इम्पीचमेंट ऑफ प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया कैन बी इनिशिएटेड इन सो इट कैन बी इनिशिएटेड एदर इन लोकसभा और इन द राज्यसभा सो ऑप्शन सी सिक्सटी सेकेंड क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट अबाउट द फिनेंशियल कमिटीज फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज पब्लिक अकाउंट कमिटी इज द लार्जेस्ट कमिटी ऑफ पार्लियामेंट नो इट द लार्जेस्ट कमिटी ऑफ पार्लियामेंट इज द एस्टिमेट्स कमिटी फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज रॉन्ग नेक्स्ट इज राज्यसभा हेज नो रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन दीज कमिटीज एक्सेप्ट द कमिटी ऑन पब्लिक अकाउंट सो फर्स्ट स्टेट दिस वन राज्यसभा हेज नो रिप्रेजेंटेशन इन द कमिटीज एक्सेप्ट द कमिटी ऑफ public undertaking okay not public accounts next is the estimates committee was set up under the provision of indian council act of 1909 so this is also wrong because the estimates committee is set up in 1950 on the recommendation of john mithai okay so none of these are correct so option d 63rd question a bill is deemed to be a money bill if it contains only provisions dealing with so first statement is the imposition abolition remission alteration and regulation of the tax so tax is there so the, uh, it will be it will be deemed to be a money bill next is regulation of the borrowing of money by the union government this will also be considered as a money bill next is appropriation of money out of the consolidated fund of india this is also considered as the money bill next is the demandment the demand or payment of fees or li for licenses or fees for services rendered so third will not be under the money bill so only one to three statements are correct option c 64th question the mekong river passes through which of the following rivers so the mekong river passes through china vietnam cambodia and laos to all these countries the mekong river will pass option d 65th question recently seen in news general network access refers to so the general network access refers to the open and non discriminatory access to interstate electricity transmission system okay option b 66th question which of the following are compulsory provisions of part 9 of the indian constitution so part 9 deals with the panchayats okay so first one is five, five year term of office of panchayats at all levels this is correct next is reservation of one third of seats for women in panchayats at all levels this is also correct next is establishment of the state election commission for conducting elections to the panchayat so all these statements are correct so option d 67th question in the context of the river linking project in india consider the following statements regarding the ken betwa link project so first one is it envisages water transfer from betwa to ken no the first statement is wrong because the water transfer is done from ken to the betwa river okay first is wrong next is betwa river and is a tributary of yamuna river and ken is the tributary of narmada river so this is also wrong because both betwa and ken are the tributaries of yamuna river okay next is both betwa and ken originate from the vindhyan ranges only third statement is correct so option b 68th question an ordinance issued by the president of india first is cannot contravene fundamental rights any more than the act of parliament first is correct next is can repeal an act of parliament on the subject in the concurrent list of the 7th schedule of constitution so both these statements are correct next is can have a maximum life of 6 months and 6 weeks okay so the third one is wrong because the ordinance can have a maximum life of 6 months and 6 weeks in case of non approval by the parliament so only one and two statements are correct option a 69 with reference to the united nation environment program unep consider the following statements first is it was founded as a result of united nation conference on human environment in 1972 first is correct next is it is a headquarters it headquartered in nairobi in kenya next is it organizes the environment assembly which meets bi annually 
to set priorities for the global environmental policies so all these are correct option d 78th question the constitution provides for granting aids to the states from the central resources in this context consider the following statements so the first statement is statutory grants are given by the parliament to only those states which are in need of financial assistance and not to every state first is correct next is the statutory grants are given to the states on the recommendation of the finance commission so both these statements are correct option c 71st question in the context of indian federalism consider the following statements first statement is indian federal system is based on the british model and not on the american model so first statement is wrong because indian federal system is based on the canadian model okay this british uh, model is a unitary system whereas um, so indian federal system is based on the canadian model first is wrong next is indian federation is a result of an agreement among the state it is not an result of agreement of the states like american government okay so both these statements are wrong option d 72nd question the constitution of india mandates which of the following states to have a separate minister in charge in tribal areas so here for chhattisgarh jharkhand madhya pradesh and odisha for these four states a separate minister of tribal affairs is present okay so the answer is 1 2 4 and 6 option a 73rd question with reference to the financial action task force fatf consider the following statements first one is it was formed under the aegis of interpol to combat terrorism fin terrorist financing and money laundering so first statement is wrong because it is not linked to interpol fatf is not linked to interpol first is wrong next is india has become a member of fatf since its foundation no it has become a member from 2010 it is fatf was established in 1989 okay and india joined in 2010 second is also wrong next is fatf secretary secretariat is housed administratively at the organization for economic cooperation and development only third one is correct option b 74th question in the context of indian constitution consider the following statements regarding the borrowing power of the center and the state so coming to the borrowing power a state government can borrow directly from within or outside it cannot borrow the state government cannot borrow from outside uh, upon the security uh, security of consolidated fund of state okay only within within india it can borrow not with outside india with this consolidated fund of state okay first is wrong next is a state with an outstanding loan towards the center cannot raise any loan without the consent of center so second is also correct so only option b is correct 75th question doubts and disputes relating to the election of the president or vice president are decided by so they are decided by the supreme court option b 76th question the rules for the allocation of business of the government of india are made by so they are made by the president option c 77th question consider the following statements regarding the deputy chairman of rajya sabha first is he is nominated no the deputy chairman is elected by the members of rajya sabha so first is wrong next is he or she performs duties of the chairman when the vice president acts as a president second is correct when vice president acts as a president then the deputy chairman will perform the duties of the vice president next is Uh, he or she is responsible to the chairman of rajya sabha he anybody uh, the deputy chairman is not responsible to chairman so only um, second one is correct option a 78th question how is radio frequency identification rfid tag different from the quick response code so qr code so qr code requires the scanner to have a direct lines on site whereas rfid 
tag can be scanned within without direct line of sight check first statement is correct next is qr code allows to read and write data to and from codes whereas rfid tag is static and cannot be changed so second one is wrong rfid tag is not static okay uh, so only first statement is correct option a 79th question with reference to the parliamentary committee of privilege in india consider the following statements first statement is both lok sabha and rajya sabha have separate committees each on parliamentary privileges first is correct next is members of the committee include both elected and nominated members so second is wrong because the parliamentary committee include only the nominated members next is the functions of the parliamentary committee of privileges are semi judicial in nature so one and three statements are correct option c 80th question in the it is created for the administration of the town which does not yet which does not yet fulfill all the conditions necessary for the constitution of the municipality though its functions within the framework of the state municipal act only certain provisions of the act apply to it but unlike municipality it is an entirely nominated body that is all its members including the chairman are nominated by the state government it is notified area committee option d 81st question consider the following statements with reference to the lavender so lavender is a native of europe correct next is in india its cultivation is restricted to northeastern states eastern himalayas no its cultivation recently in 20 districts of jammu and kashmir it is um, cultivated and even in arunachal pradesh also in sikkim sikkim also it is cultivated so not only in northeastern himalaya states in even in the north northern region of india it is cultivated so second is wrong next is lavender oil is antiviral and antibacterial properties that help to heal scabs and bites so one and three statements are correct option c 82nd question which of the following initiatives form part of interoperable criminal justice system project first is crime and criminal tracking and network system first is correct next is e prison and e forensics so all these are the form of uh, form a part of interoperable criminal justice system so all these are correct option d 83rd question with reference to the military power of the president of india consider the following statements first is the president of india has the power to declare a war or peace first is correct next is the president power as the commander in chief of defense forces is independent of legislative control no even here in defense forces also uh, the president is not independent he is advised by the ministers next so only first statement is correct option option a 84th question who among the following enjoys legislative powers in relation to the administration of union territories so for president parliament and legislative assembly of the union territory uh, all these enjoy the administ uh, legislative powers in relation to union territory but not the prime minister option 1 2 3 only are correct so option a 85th question the constitution provides for the abolition or creation of legislative councils in the state in the context consider the following statements first is the legislative assembly of the concerned state must pass a resolution to that effect by the special majority first statement is correct next is the parliament can pass an act to that effect by the simple majority only first and second statements are correct option c 86th question which one of the following statements is correct about the pro tem speaker so when any of the speaker is not there so before uh, when so when the elections are conducted and uh, no speaker is there then at that time pro tem speaker is uh, is appointed by the president okay even the oath is taken by the president only so option c president himself administers an oath to the pro tem speaker option c 87th question consider the following regarding the kathak dance so first is 
the repertory of the kathak dance includes the works of mirabai and surdas first statement is correct next is the tradition of kathak dance is unaffected by the outside elements such as persian dance no it is the kathak dance is a fusion of ancient indian classical dance form and the persian central asian dance forms okay so for second is wrong next is wajid ali shah the last king of avadh was a great patron of kathak dance so one and three statements are correct option c 88th question with reference to the national population register consider the following statements first is it is a register of all usual residents of the country regardless of the regardless of whether they are citizens or non citizens of india first is correct next is it is prepared under the provisions of census act of 1948 so it is not prepared under this provision so only first statement is correct so option a 89th question recently 12th ministerial conference of world trade organization was held in the geneva in this context consider the following statements first statement is the ministerial conference is the wto's top decision making body usually meets every 6 months it is not met every 6 months it is met every 2 years say so first is wrong next is a decision to admit a new member to world trade organization is taken by the two third majority in the central ministerial conference only so second statement is correct so option b 98th question which of who which of the following are the correct regarding the financial emergency under article 360 of the indian constitution so here proclamation of proclamation declaring financial emergency can be approved only by the lok sabha so here the financial emergency can be approved only uh, either by the lok sabha or the rajya sabha first is wrong next is it can be extended for an indefinite period with an approval of the parliament every 6 months so so it is um, not correct because the fina- uh, under a financial emergency cannot be extended for indefinite period okay so maximum period is not prescribed for the financial emergency so option b is also wrong next is resolution approving the proclamation of financial emergency requires simple majority it doesn't require simple majority it requires a so yes uh, whereas other uh, national emergency requires special majority but financial emergency requires simple majority so option c is only correct next is it was declared by the first time during the financial till now any financial emergency is not introduced in india so only option c is the correct one 91st question with reference to the qualifications for the appointment of governor as laid down in the constitution which of the following statements are correct first is he should be completed the age of 35 years first is correct next is he should be qualified for the election of the member as a member of state legislative assembly second is wrong because no such conditions are prescribed in the constitution for his qualification next is he must not be of unsound mind or any undischarged insolvent this is also not mentioned so only first statement is correct option a 92nd one consider the following statements regarding the appointment of governor of the state so the first one is the 742nd constitutional amendment act 1976 provided for the appointment of the same person as the governor of two or more states so here it is uh, not 42nd it is 70 6th 7th constitutional amendment act provided for the appointment of same person as a governor for two or more states okay 7th constitutional amendment act took place in 1956 first is wrong so they asked which is not correct so this one so the office of governor is considered not employment under the central government so only first is not correct option a 93rd question specific provisions of the for the administration of the acquired territories is provided under which of the following parts so it is uh, no specific provisions are provided for administration of acquired territory so option d 94th question with reference to the credit rating agencies consider the following first is 
Credit rating agencies are regulated by SEBI. It is regulated by SEBI, not RBI. First is wrong. Next is sovereign credit rating provides an assessment on the country's economic and political environment to benchmark itself with other nations. So second is correct. Next is currently India's sovereign credit rating is BBB, not AAA. BBB means lowest investment grade. Okay. So third one is also wrong. Only second one is correct. Option B. 95th question. This committee was constituted by Rajya Sabha before its constitution is Lok Sabha. It, 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 it enforces the code of conduct of members of parliament. It examines the cases of misconduct and recommends appropriate action. Thus, it is engaged in maintaining discipline and decorum of parliament. So, which of the following parliamentary committees is being described in the passage? So, it is the ethics committee. Option D. 96th question, which of the following are likely effects of the proclamation of national emergency on the center-state relations? So, first is the legislative power of the state legislature becomes subject to the overriding power of parliament. First is correct. Next is the state government is automatically suspended and executive power of the state center extends to the state. So, first is wrong because the state government is bought under the government control it is not automatically suspended in the national emergency so second is wrong next is the president can issue ordinances on the state subject mentioned in the seventh schedule of the constitution so only one and three statements are correct option c 97th question considers the following statements regarding the parliamentary committee in india so first one is uh, they are appointed or elected by the house or nominated by the speaker of Lok Sabha or chairman of Rajya Sabha. So first is correct. Next is they are present. They present their reports to the par uh, president. It is not president. They sub uh, submit their reports to the Lok Sabha or La Rajya Sabha or speaker or chairman of the Rajya Sabha. So it is not president. Second statement is wrong. Next is consultative committees are a type of parliamentary committee so consultative committees are not a type of parliamentary committee so second and third are wrong so only one is correct option b 98th question in the context of the cultural history of india karakattam is a folk dance of which of the following states so karakattam is a folk dance of tamil nadu option b 99th question the union government has provided for the specific tax regime with respect to virtual digital assets in budget 2022 to 23 in this context consider the following statements first is a non-fungible token comes under the definition of virtual digital assets in india first is correct next is any income from the transfer of any virtual digital assets is exempted from taxation of india taxation in india so second one is wrong because um, any income from transfer of any virtual digital asset is also part of taxation in india next is losses incurred during the transaction of virtual digital assets can be set off against any other income so second third one is also wrong The losses incurred during the transaction of virtual digital assets uh, cannot be set off against any other income. So only first statement is correct. Option A. 100th question. In which of the following conditions the cut motion are not to be considered valid? So only in the case uh, if, if the cut motion makes suggestions for the amendment or repeal of the existing laws, then only it is not valid for the other three that is it should not raise the question of privilege it should not relate to the expenditure charged on the consolidated fund of india and it should relate to the demand on one demand only for all these cut motion cannot uh, can be considered valid okay so only four is the one so option d